Hey kids, welcome to lesson eight, Boolean expression and if statements, number six. You try it. Let's modify the driving age example to add an else clause. Add an else to the if statement and add a console.log message inside the else clause that says something like, sorry, you can't drive yet. You can add an else statement by clicking the plus attached to the if statement. We've provided some starting code for you. Bonus, if they are not old enough to drive, you could do the math and tell them how many years they have to wait. So we're actually going to do both of those, the you try it and the bonus. First though, let's go ahead and look at our code. This is from our last lesson here. We have our console.log that says driver verification, so that always pops up. We have a variable age, and that's a prompt num, so that means we have a box up here that pops up, and it'll say, please enter your age. Our if statement here says, if age is greater than 16, we are going to do a console.log statement that looks like you're old enough to drive. And no matter what, we have another console.log statement that says, oh, thanks for verifying. What we have to do here is add our else statement. They were talking about here, this little plus sign. This actually adds an else statement, and it actually makes it very easy to do. In our text, we can see we have braces here that encompass our else statement. So our else is pretty easy. Really all we need to do is to add a console.log message, and it needs to say, Sorry, you can't drive yet. And we'll capitalize this over here. And that should be it. If they are 16 and older, they get this message. If they were 15 and younger, they get this message right here. Let's go ahead and test our code. Run. The easy one, 16, hit OK, we get all three. The harder one, let's do age 12, OK, there we go, sorry, you can't drive yet, too bad. That right there is the first part, so we added an else statement and we added a console.log message to our code. Now we're going to work on the bonus here. And how do we do the bonus? We're going to add a variable down here. So this is going to be variable and this will equal age difference. And my age difference here, whoop, I don't need an equal sign because that's assigning my variable. I need my equal over here. And what is it going to be? Well, I can use just my regular math functions here. I can do something like age, age difference minus, or actually it should be the other way around, should be 16 minus whatever our age difference is there. So our age difference is our new variable, and that is the uh, number 16 minus whatever their age difference is. So if they're eight, they have eight years till they can drive. This is saying I declared it, but I haven't called it yet. What I need to do is to come to my console.log statement here, and we're gonna put in a message. You still have, and this is going to be a plus because we're stringing it, age difference, and then another plus, our um, quotation marks until you can drive. And at that one, we need to make sure we have our colon and we do. We have an error here and it says age difference. If you can see, they look like they're actually spelt wrong. So let's just make sure we have this here. We're gonna paste this down here. And there, so I had three, I had a spelling error there. Once I got it spelled right, my little triangles went away. 
At this point, I think my code looks pretty good here. Let's go ahead and just hit reset and run and give it a try. So run, we have our age here. If I'm over it, I should get my message of three right there. And well, before we go, this part should actually be down here. I want both my text of my variable age difference to go down here in my else statement. Let's reset run. Let's do 12. So at the end of the day now, I should get four that comes in the string down here. Let's hit OK. And it says you have none. So I have an issue down here. What could be my issue? Hmm. Well, let's think here. Age is my variable that the user is entering. So it doesn't need to be age difference, 16 minus age difference. Age difference is actually the variable that is going to be 16 minus something. So it actually should be age, so 16 minus age, because that is what is prompting the user to enter a number, and that's the variable we want to get. Let's try this again and see if we're right. Reset run. Let's do 12. OK. And you still have four until you can drive. Looks like we just need to put the word years there. Hit reset run. Let's do another one. 10. We should end up with a number six down there. You still have six years until you can drive. So it looks like our code is working good now. What did I forget? Well, I just declared the wrong variable. Remember, you have to keep track of them as you are going. So when we assigned a new variable, we had to make sure we subtracted from the old variable or the input of the user. Pretty good. I think we did everything we needed to do. We got our bonus done. We added an else statement and a console.log statement. Let's see if code.org wants anything else from us. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next puzzle.